Howdy, this is Levi again. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review of Kentucky Burley. So I got some in a bag right here. Hold on. Um, so this is what it looks like when it comes packaged. All freshly sealed in a bag so that it won't go dry on you. I'll show you here. So, first thing you'll notice is that it's uh, tightly packed. I was being a idiot last night and pour my bag but well so um yeah as I mentioned tightly compacted but the leaf quality is is good let me just show one of the leaves here and it smells good it's like a really nice rich um, kind of woody uh, nutty smell and um, I really like it. So let's show you the leaf here. These leaves are pretty big. You can roll cigars with them. You can make chewing tobacco with them. The nicotine level of this leaf is uh, pretty high. So I mean unless you're as screwed up as I am, uh, I recommend you just don't smoke it as is. But I'm going to do a little flavor profile here and uh, roll one up for you. So I got Bugler cigarette tubes and uh, I've been really liking these because I get to smoke them fancy filtered cigarettes and uh, that's good because usually I just buy uh, papers and do it the old fashioned way and I still like doing that but um, you know it's uh, just easy this way because I can make a whole bunch of them so I'm going to get here and show you the rolling process okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your tobacco stick it in this trough in the machine right here now this is a bugler machine and um, I tried it with top menthol tubes I don't know if I have the box it's, oh it's like over here I'll get it for you top menthol I got these when I had a cold but if I want a menthol, which occasionally I do once in a while, I'll um, I'll just go and rip the filter off one of those tubes and then uh, use um, just some papers and just do it, you know, regular way. So you know you got it even down in there, 50/50, just like you put the tobacco on the paper. Press it in there. Drop my tube. Get your tube and just gently slide it onto that nozzle right there. Allow me to explain the filling process. Tobacco goes in here and gets shot into here. Cigarettes are smoked, time is burned, boredom relieved, nicotine levels elevated. I like to give it a little bit of a tap like this and uh, just tap it on my leg a few times before I close the thing or push it forward and kick out the cigarette so push that out take it and give it a little pack right there there it's a good looking cigarette it out. Perfect. That's a really fine looking cigarette. Now I'm gonna go smoke this thing. Hey guys, um, so I got the cigarette I just rolled right here um, in the bugler tube and uh, I'm gonna smoke it and uh, tell you guys how it tastes. If I can get my Zippo to work. I need to change the flints on that thing. Mm. Of course I've been using my backup lighter several times. But I just need to get down and change the flints with that.
that's really smooth and um, burns pretty uh, pretty consistently. If you pack it, um, just a tip with burly. If you pack it really uh, really tight in the tube, it's going to be a little bit harsher. But if you pack it um, kind of like see how I did it, just kind of a little bit loose, but not too loose, then um, burn rate will be pretty good. So the taste is um, kind of like a um, oak. Uh, kind of, I don't know how to describe this. It's like an oak, leathery, um, kind of hay smell, like a, like a nice barnyard smell to it. I don't know. I really like that. Um, but it's 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 got that kind of vegetable. It it has a really fresh smell to it and a really fresh taste to it which is um, pretty nice. <coughs> the burn rate is uh, pretty slow. So you can have a cigarette rolled like this and smoke it hard for like half an hour without, you know, without it burning down. It's just uh, really slow burning, which is nice. Mainly because um, because there isn't all the chemicals and stuff in it, natural tobacco burns really smooth and really slow. All right, so I am to that point and um, got a good nicotine buzz. The thing about this tobacco that sets it apart from store-bought tobacco is it's a lot stronger heck of a lot stronger but the flavor as it gets towards the end is a lot like a cigar like a really strong really nice cigar but not in a stinky kind of way more or less um, cleaner than a cigar I don't know how to describe it but that's just kind of my interpretation of the taste but um, I don't know what to describe it to. With the nuttiness, you know, if you're sipping coffee while you're smoking one of these cigarettes, it's it's a really nice taste because it tastes kind of like those those uh, coffee macadamia nut cigars, and I've had those before. Um, when I went to Hawaii, I was in let's see, uh, shoot, Honolulu. Or, no, 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 that's not it. Crap, I can't remember. Whatever. But I had these fancy um, Hula Girl cigars, and they were really good. And I really wish I brought more of them back to the mainland. Because they were just, um, they were like these little $6 cigar things, and they came in three, and they were wrapped in plastic, and they were really good. But they were like a little cigarillo type deal. But I liked them. So this is uh, burning, still burning real slow. And it's still pretty smooth. As I mentioned, for some people this might be a little bit harsh. What you can do to take away the harshness of a tobacco is you can either soak the leaves and just wring them out and then hang them to dry to a correct moisture level or you can continue on um, to shredding it and then dry it out after you've you know, moistened it and washed it and everything either work you know just as fine but if you shred it first it's smoother so um yeah, that about sums it up. I'm just about done with this. Taste is great. Smells good. Uh, burns slowly. And uh, lots of nicotine. Not too much tar. 
and uh, yeah it's great great tobacco so if you're looking for a nice budget price tobacco um, I suggest you pick this up this is really fine tobacco for a really low price anyway thank you for watching and uh, bye